Good morning everyone. As you can see, my hair isn't looking the best. This is like day six, day seven hair right now. I don't even know, I can't keep track. All that I know is that it really needs a good wash. So I thought today as I wash my hair, I could show you guys my curly hair routine. Just to let you know, I am definitely not a curly hair expert. Um, and my routine isn't even that great. I kind of just do whatever, like I pick bits and pieces from other YouTubers I've liked and um, Instagrammers and stuff. Um, someone I really recommend is Jamie Jo. Um, she does loads of curly hair videos and I really enjoy them and they really helped when I was, um, I would want to say transitioning but I never went from like straight to curly or like use loads of heat in my hair. My hair was just really bad. Um, so. I guess I could say transitioning, but yeah, she was really helpful. So I definitely go, defi definitely recommend checking her out. Also, Lana Summer or Jasmine Brown, they were also really helpful for when I was trying to learn how to do my own hair. But yeah, so today I thought I'd show you my routine. Um, it's not super difficult um, and it's not perfect. I just want to warn you. Uh, so yeah, I'll start by showing you the products I use and then we'll go and wash my hair. To begin with, my shampoo. This is the Black Molasses Shampoo Bar from Shea Butter Cottage. Um, it's a UK, it's a UK based brand and it's black owned. It's um, all natural and it's vegan, so a really good buy. And it, it feels really good. This is what it looks like inside. So it's just this dark brown bar. Um, yeah, and I just use this to wash my hair and get rid of all the build up. And then after that, I use this um, Manuka Honey and Mathura Oil Hair Mask from Shea, the Shea Moisture range. Um, I really like this hair mask. I try and use it like once a week or every couple of weeks after I've washed my hair. So I'll leave it in for 30 minutes or half an hour, put a shower cap on while it's in. Um, and yeah, let it like nourish my hair, hydrate it, enrich it, all that good stuff. Um, after I wash that off, I usually use the uh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, leave-in conditioner but also by Shea Moisture and I say that this is my favourite product of the Shea Moisture range. I do really like the hair mask but this is like my go-to and I put it on like every day um, especially after I wash my hair just to like define my curls and make them hydrated I would definitely recommend this. And then finally um, to define my curls and keep them looking fresh throughout the day I use the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie, also by um, Shea Moisture. And I'm not gonna lie, I am not a huge fan of this product. Um, I feel like they change their, I feel like they change their ingredients or recipe because I, when I used it like a year ago, I did really like it, but now I feel like the consistency is quite different and it's quite sticky and I don't really like how it feels in my hair. Sometimes I feel like it weighs it down or makes it too crunchy. So um, I think I'm going to transition to another one, but I'm still using this because I don't really like wasting stuff and I'm just going to use it until it's finished. So I'm about like halfway, <laughs> so still got a while to go. I think when I'm done, I will move to the Buclem range I, I'd, i've been meaning to try them out i think i'll try the um like curl defining gel and i think that they are black owned as well which is really good so yeah they're the products i use so now let's go and wash my hair
Okay, I'm back from the shower. Got my shower cap on. I'm gonna set a um, timer for half an hour now to leave the hair mask in. I'm just gonna get on with like bits and pieces, get ready, do my skincare, maybe do some work. Although that's like that was a lot to do in half an hour, so probably won't do all that. But yeah, we're just gonna do that, and then I'll rinse my hair out and show you the rest of the routine. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this off now, and then I will be back to show you the rest of my routine. Hello, I am back. I have rinsed my hair and got out as much of the hair mask as I possibly can. I'm pretty sure it's all out, which is good. Um, and now it's just like pretty much dripping wet. Um, and I'm gonna style. So first I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner. Just separate my hair into like four sections. So I'll take the top half and clip that up. Put it on top of my head. Ooh. Okay. I'm just gonna pop this like at the front of my body. I'm gonna be styling at the front. I don't really want a t-shirt to go wet. So there, then we have two sections from the bottom of my hair. So I'm gonna start with the leave-in conditioner. Just grab some of that. Like so. I don't really know how much I use. I just feel like I use different amounts each time. So there's no specific way or amount that I use. And just rake that through my hair with my fingers at first to do that. I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Then I'm going to grab my Denman brush. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this from like Boots or Superdrug. It wasn't that expensive. And I'm just going to brush my hair to make sure that all the leave-in is evenly distributed. I kind of try to like um, brush it away from my head to try and give it a bit more volume at the end as you can see it's very saturated right now which is good because we want a lot of product to like make sure the curls juicy and I really like the Denman brush because I like how it clumps my hair together and I always feel like I get the best um, ringlets with that uh, I'm gonna do the same on the other side so I know like a lot of other people like finger coil their curls and stuff and honestly not gonna lie the results are amazing and look really good but if I'm honest I'm just too lazy for that and I just can't be bothered I feel like if I can get a halfway decent result just brushing and like raking product from my hair then I'm good I'm all good you know I'm not fussy so yeah We've done that. So that's all good. And then, um, still on the bottom layer, I'm going to use the curl enhancing smoothie and just rake some of that for my hair. Now, as I said, this one is quite like sticky, so I don't want to use too much of it. Just roll it into my hands and just rake it through, like so. I like to scrunch this up too. <laughs> If you can hear that sculpty sound, that's good. That's what we like to hear. But like when you have the sculpty sound, it means that your hair is wet enough for it to like um, take hold and not look too frizzy, and it means that you have applied enough of the product. There we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the same with the top 
on my head but i need to separate out my fringe for this so i'm gonna chuck that to the back um and just split the top into two and then we also need to find the fringe Okay, I think I've got it all right now. I'm gonna start with um, these other sections, so here and here. And we're just gonna do exactly the same. So get some, sorry, I look like this. This is also why I get, this is also why my glasses get so dirty. Cause I kind of, I have to put them on to see what I'm doing. Um, but it means that all the product that's on my fringe when it's wet goes onto my glasses and then it's just all smeary and not fun. Anyway off besides the point uh let's get some more leave-in conditioner it is honestly the best feeling when oh, when you brush your hair and there's no tangles it's just so good oh. Okay, cool. Now we've done that, we're gonna do final bit is the fringe. For my fringe, I kind of do um, a similar sort of thing. Get some leave in, not as much as before because you don't wanna put too much on. Make it all crusty and crunchy. But I do use a dumb brush here as well. Okay, so then after we do that, I can't really see. Gonna get a bit of the um, curl enhancing smoothie, rub it in my fingers a bit, and then I'm just gonna grab like each curl and twist it around my finger, pull down like that, just to make sure that these front bits are really nice and defying because obviously that's the part that everyone will see but now my hair is quite wet so what i'm going to do is going to use this microfiber towel and just pop to one side and just scrunch up just to get any excess liquid off Hey, I'm, we're done. So, um, okay. And we are done. So now we've got some nice moisturized curls. My hair's still quite wet. And my hair's still quite damp. Um, but I'm gonna leave it that way. I um, I'm not very good at diffusing. My diffuser isn't that great. I'll do it if I, I'm in a rush and I need to be somewhere and my hair isn't dry. But today is a Sunday and that's usually when I wash my hair so I don't have to go out or anything. I don't have to see anyone. So I tend to let it um, air dry and this <laughs> does take forever. My hair takes forever to dry. So I'd say about six hours. But um, because I'm like I'm not going out, I just get on with some work or chill and chat to my flatmates or whatever, and then wait for it to dry. So I will show you the results when it is dry and how I fluff it up and get some more volume when it's dry. I'm gonna try not to touch it at all because I think when if you keep touching it when it's drying, it um, produces frizz so I'm just gonna leave it as much as possible now let it dry and I will show you the results sorry you can't see my eyes it's a bit crazy but yeah I'll show you the results after hello we are back many hours later I think maybe like six or seven luckily it's still light outside because I washed it quite early this morning um, so we still have light my hair is now 100% dry um, I'm not gonna lie, this isn't the best wash day I've had, um, 
I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. You know, we've got to work with it. Just got to firm it. What I'm going to do is separate out some of these curls, some of these ones that are like stuck together, like so, um, from where I brush it with the Denman brush. And to do that, I'm going to use my spray water bottle. This is one I just got from Amazon. Um, I'll try and link it below. But yeah, I'm just going to use this and my leave-in conditioner as well. And we're going to mix a bit of water and conditioner onto my fingers so that when I separate the curls, I'm not causing too much frizz by just having like dry hands. Leave-in and I'm going to spray. Together. There we go. Okay, and then we're just gonna do tangle. I'm gonna look in my mirror up over here. It's easier. For the final thing is to get a little bit more voluminous because I'm liking it but I'm not loving it right now. I'm going to use my wide tooth comb, this one, to pick out my hair. So I'm going to go over to the other side to do that so I can stand up and like really shake my hair around. <laughs> a bit more you can also shake out the roots with your fingers too so just like that a bit this is good for if you don't have a wide tooth comb but sometimes I just do this anyway and the last thing I'm just gonna shake my hair a little bit and there we have it that was my curly hair routine I think it looks a lot better now that I've um, separated the curls and picked it a bit, I think it looks a lot more full than it did before. My friend is still moving a bit mad, but we're just gonna never mind that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that this routine was helpful. Um, I know it's not the best routine ever, but I think it's quite easy to follow. And I think it produces quite good results. I think they're okay. Not the best, but okay. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.